Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Frank Fernandez Show. This is part four. Um, it's June 3rd, 2010, and we are inside. It's nice and dark. It's dark outside. I think a hurricane is going on. It's the third day of hurricane season. Look how it is outside. Woo! If you pay attention to this top of the screen right here, that palm tree that I'm trying to point at, there it is. Woohoo! Whatever. Yeah, whatever. Um, yo, you're just, you're just going to see that tree moving everywhere. Look, there it goes again. So anyway, so we just got a phone call from my dad, and he pretty much gave us everything that we wanted to hear. I mean, another opinion about what he thought about that blown call and about instant replay in baseball itself because that's going to be the major talk and I have a feeling that it's going to be instated maybe as early as next season. Oh yeah, I mean it definitely should be. It's going to be probably the biggest topic that they have to really to discuss about during the off season. So hopefully they change it. Let's see how they interpret how they're going to do it. You know, because it's been in talks for years. I think you 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 have to. Well, you have to. I mean, it, I think a lot of people think it has to. It's just how they're going to put it. That's what the major discussion is going to be about. Let's move on to basketball because we got about nine minutes left with you guys. NBA Finals start tonight. Woo! Lakers, Celtics. Rivalry from the past. New rivalry, I guess, now from the future. The third year in a row that they're going to meet in the NBA. No, sorry. Second, second time that they're going to meet in the NBA Finals. And, I mean, who you got? Who you got? Who you got? I got oh, who you got? Say Lakers and six. Ooh, Lakers. I, I think I'm gonna say Celtics. I'm gonna be I'm gonna go green. I'm gonna go for Boston. I think it's gonna be Boston and six to tell you the truth. Um it, it just depends on how much Celtics can contain Kobe Bryant, how much they how soft Saul comes out or not. Because that's the main reason. The last time these two teams met, the soft wasn't a factor at all. You know, a couple years ago when the, the Celtics ended up a winning. big factor is how is Boston going to stay healthy? How are they going to stay out of foul trouble when it comes key time to, you know, the fourth quarter of the last five minutes? Who, who's still going to be in the game? That's going to be the big question. That's what I'm going to ask about Boston. From Boston. From Boston, from the garden? I like that chowder. Chowder? Chowder. All right, so, uh, bro, do you think this rivalry matters to any of the players? I mean, it's it's a big rivalry. I'm, we're talking about, like, Kareem, Bird, Magic, Parrish, you know. I don't uh, think so because most of the people on Boston have established careers elsewhere before they actually went to Boston. I guess, but it's still the rivalry. I mean, it's the whole. I mean, it's the whole it's media. Bo it's it's the whole media versus Lakers. It's, it's it's not Kevin Garnett, Rasheed Wallace. And, uh, uh, and man, look at the commercials. People. Look at the commercial. I know you haven't seen it. Obviously, you live in a cave. You don't have cable. But look at the commercials on ESPN, and you probably have seen them already on ABC as well, man. It's saying Lakers, Celtics, and the picture that they put is Magic Johnson, Larry Bird. So you have to think that the players are thinking about about the rivalry and at least in one way or another bro it is ugly outside I, I don't i personally don't think so i mean for the legacy of kobe does this matter that he's playing boston now i know it makes it better i think it does make it better right it i agree with you it makes it better because at least you're playing as somebody history there is the history of the two franchises but if you look at the players they're two totally new dynasties so oh absolutely but again boston used to be stacked Lakers used to be stacked and continuously have been stacked, but non-winning championships. But well, actually, you can't really say that. Kobe's about to possibly win his fifth. So this is very good if Kobe wins his fifth. I think Kobe. I think Kobe's going to take it. I, I think the supporting cast in the Lakers can handle Boston. All right, um, we're going to move on. We have, we're kind of short on time with you guys, but we're going to move on. Uh, the free agent summit or not, which which one, whatever. The, they all say that they're not going to have a summit, that they're not going to get together. And we're talking obviously about the NBA free agency, the class of 010 that's going to come out right now. And we're going to make a hell of a fuss about it within the next few weeks because believe it or not, it's 27 days away. And the free agency is going to begin. So, I mean, it is what it is. But... LeBron came out with uh, with um, what's Larry King on CNN, and he said that he was the ringleader. If there was a, a I guess a summit or whatever, LeBron, let me get let me let me tell you this, and let's get things straight. You're not the ringleader. As long as Dwayne Wade has more rings than you, you are not considered the ringleader over Dwayne Wade. You need to bow down to Dwayne Wade, man. 
That's just the bottom line of it. Who he's is the his, ringleader? He's got his own county. <laughs> what do you have? And he's got his own county. What do you have? <laughs> I got Cleveland. Okay, who? So obviously we still want the uh, we still want LeBron to come down here. So I mean it is what it is. Uh, we're gonna finish up with uh, Chris Pronger. Uh, Chris Pronger, the defenseman for the Philadelphia Flyers, stealing game pucks. Hmm. I think that's funny. <laughs> Pretty much what he did is after the first and the second game that Chicago won at home, he went to the game, the you know the puck at the end of the game, and he took it and he skated away with it. When questioned by the Blackhawks asking where the puck is, he answered, "Quote." It's in the garbage where it belongs, end quote. Do you think this is trying to get in the Hawks' head? Because if they're getting upset about it, it's kind of working. I don't know. Why, why would you say it's not working? Why would you throw it away? I, I don't see why that would make anybody angry. Well, this is going to be – this is uh, you take these pucks at the end of the game, and, you know, teams put it in their – Team uh, right, and this is but game one, the first win of the 2010 Stanley Cup Finals. This just means that they're gonna have to fill their pucks, their their trophy cases with Stanley Cup pucks. Yeah, but um, uh, well, yeah, with Stanley Cup pucks, but <laughs> they don't get to keep the Stanley Cup obviously because it goes to the very next team. I don't know if you know that or not. Well, well yeah, obviously, but I mean, still, why would you care about uh, division or division uh, championship? We're not division, but uh, conference championship. What is it? It's Stanley Cup, man. It's the finals, son. Now it's the finals. Yeah, but that's this is what we're talking about. Game oh. one and game two of the Stanley Cup Finals, Chris Pronger took the pucks, and I don't know if the Hawks have it or not. Oh, I thought it was the last two games of this championship. Okay, never mind. Okay, so now what do you think? I think that's messed up. Okay, thank you. Guys, this, I would be <laughs> the Flyers won yesterday 2-1 in overtime, so the, the Hawks played great. I heard it from the Hawks fan, my dad, and I was watching the game as well. That's the reason why I didn't see the perfect game. Actually, I wasn't even home. By the way, guys, stay away from the movie Splice. If you're expecting a horror movie, all you're going to receive is an emotional sci-fi. That's all I'm going to say. If you need anything else to know about the movie, you can email me and I'll give you details about how bad the movie was. But that's all you got. That's all uh, I'm going to say. The movie is out tomorrow. Okay? I, I think I'm giving it enough publicity by just saying that. So, <laughs> I give it two thumbs down. Very enthusiastic thumbs down. Woo! Guys, thanks for watching the Frank Fernandez Show today. My name is Frank Fernandez. This is David Miles. We want to thank my dad for coming on today and for everybody that's watching either on YouTube or Ustream or was watching us live. Thank you very much, and we will hear from you next week. Good night. Later.